Hey guys, Tech Mention with the video for guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download your iCloud photos to your iPhone photos. Now, of course, this will include your videos that are stored in your iCloud to you locally to your phone. So let's show you how to, that's done for all photos and videos on your iCloud. And then we'll show you how to do it for select ones as well in the second part of the video. So in order to do it for all of you, the photos and videos on your iCloud, if you want to download it to your iPhone storage, all you're going to do is go into your setting of your iPhone. Of course, you need to be signed into your iCloud account that has all the photos. And you're going to click on your name up top here. To do that, you're going to want to go click on iCloud. From there on, you're going to see apps using iCloud. We're going to click on Photos here. And all we do is ensure that Sync is on. And then from down there, you'll see here where it says Download and Keep Original. Now, if you click on that, it will basically be keeping uh, all of the photos uh, it will download them and keep the originals and from there on we should be able to get all the photos down to our iPhone now this will take some time for that to happen so again now if you need to kind of do for specific photos that are in your iCloud here you can go over to a browser right on on your phone Safari Google Chrome whatever it is and just navigate over to iCloud.com right once you go to iCloud.com, you're going to want to go ahead and sign in. And it's going to prompt you for your, of course, uh, Apple ID account, email, and password. So we're going to go ahead and sign in. So I'm going to enter my Apple ID password here really quick. All right. So I entered my Apple ID password. I'm just going to go ahead and sign in now. And all right. So once I'm signed in into my iCloud account here all I could do is simply click on this three line uh, the menu here basically we're going to look at our photos album right here and then as you can see what's new and I can hit OK and from there on I can select I can look at the photos I have here right so I can select specific photos if you don't want to download all of them and then click on these three dots up top here and from there on you can download the selected photos or videos instead of downloading everything from your iCloud and this will work on not just your iPhone also on your computer as well it could be a MacBook or a PC same exact process just find the browser and just go to iCloud.com and sign into your iCloud account and then you can see here you can download uh, by clicking on that or you can have more options for download and you can pick different resolutions as well or modified original whatever the option is available so I'm just going to click on these three lines here, three dots up here, and then click on downloads. And it will download as a zip, so we can click on download. And then we can click here to get to, to see if it's downloaded. So what will happen is on the iPhone, it will download to your um, files app. So go to your files app, right? And then you're gonna look for the zip that was downloaded. So this one might be in the downloads, as you can see here, iCloud Photos, if I click on it, it will open that file and then I can see the photos that were downloaded and once they're downloaded I can also click on these three dot here click on select and select them and click on that and then we can now save into photos as well or move them around doesn't matter whatever you want to do with it you can uh, do that here so let's go ahead and do that to show you if I want to save it to photos I can click on this icon and then save image click on this one you can multi select as well in the save image and then if I go to the photos app these ones that I recently downloaded are there and the same will happen for it so that's how you can download individual photos and then the other first method will give you the ability to download all of your photos from your iCloud storage to your iPhone storage and I hope this video was helpful so please do consider hitting a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices see you guys next time